Hey guys, me and Dave. It's, uh, it is 2-25-2020. Um, it's uh, Tuesday. It's still early in the week. I was thinking it was Wednesday today, and I was thinking tomorrow, you know, because I get paid on Friday. So I, I'm, like, totally broke um, right now trying to make it through until Friday. I'm just kind of I'm kind of stuck home uh, because I don't have any money or gas or anything. So I'm kind of stuck here. So anyway, I thought I would do a video. Um, enough of the technical stuff that uh, I don't know much about. <laughs> don't feel bad, you guys, if you don't understand this technology. 99% um, of us don't. Uh, Dr. Hall said he doesn't even understand it. Um, so don't feel bad, you guys, if you don't understand completely what's going on. Uh, you know, there's so many different angles and different programs and different ways. I think if you have a basic idea of how it works and what they're doing to you, I think that's pretty good. Um, anyway, I want to tell you guys something that I do know about. There's a little, there's probably a little um, disagreements out there of what I'm about to say. Uh, some people believe they, they can't have uh, total behavioral control over you. Um, I, on the other hand, think they can almost have total behavioral control over you. Um, in my situation, they probably already have my cognitive model of my brain already done um, because they can control me um, when it comes down to it if they want to um, they can override my urges um, if they want to uh, you know can they uh, you know if I'm driving can they make my foot uh, step on the gas all the way down to the floor yes they can uh, they can do that. Um, they've done it to me before. Um, you know, they do, you know, they do it. Um, they can put the urge in you, but somehow what they do is they give you subliminal, strong, very strong subliminal messages at the same time. And somehow that controls you too. And they can make you do things. Um, could they make me uh, veer off the road? Uh, probably. Um, you know, I believe they can if they wanted to. Um, you know, um, like I say, they do subliminal messages at the same time. They've done it to me. Um, where they have almost tried to make me run off the road. Um, they have when I was getting hit super hard and I had to move my car from each side of the street back and forth every week they made me step on the gas and floor it in the middle of winter time you know good thing it was winter time because I was spinning all the way up the street but I told them to knock it off you know and uh, and then they did finally knock it off and I was able to stop but um, but they do it in a way, they do it with, um, they put their urge in you and then they add in subliminal messages at the same time. And somehow they're able to control you a lot better. It's, it's really unreal. It's so hard to explain unless you've been through it. Um, it's so hard to explain if you, unless you've been through it. Um, so can they have total behavioral control of your body um i would say 85 to 90 percent yes um you know i don't know exactly how they do it they can override your urges they can they can override you <laughs> if they want to um they've done it to me several times um it's uh it really is unreal um i thought i would share that because there's a lot of a lot of people out there don't believe they can do that um you know um chris burton had similar stories i heard you know i watched some of his videos i heard some of his story before um and he kind of said said the same thing uh you know where they you know they can control you uh todd giffen 
uh, I heard him talking before, you know, he said, uh, they can make you get up and walk, you know, and walk and talk and all this other stuff. They can con totally control you. So the people that say they can't do it, um, in my opinion, they're wrong. Um, they can control you if they want to. Um, you know, they can override your urges, uh, you know, if they want to. And then, like in my case, like, you know, like I say, they add in subliminal messages and it's almost like it controls me more, you know, even when, even when I had V2K, um, it was like, it wasn't just V2K, it wasn't just them saying, oh yeah, what are you doing? Uh, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't like that at all. They were able to control me somehow with V2K more, you know, so they can put urges in you and they can override your urges. And like I say, I was, when I was getting V2K too, it was like they had more control over me somehow, somehow they had control over me. You know, it was unreal. It was really unreal. And it's scary. You know, it really is scary. You can try to fight it. You might be able to break it. You know, you might be able to break it. But they have different ways of doing it where they can have control over you. They really can. They can have control over you. Um, and that's mind control. That's mind control. That's real mind control. If they want to do it, they'll do it, you know. So they haven't done any of that. They haven't done any of that stuff in quite a few years to me, but um you know, they uh you know, sometimes they will you know, they will uh do things, you know, I mean and it's uh not good, you know. So I just thought I would talk about that a little bit, you know. Can they do it? Yes they can. Um they can they can make you do things if they want to. Um you know, they really can. Um, it's, uh, you know, these weapons are more stronger than you think. Um, even if you have a strong mind, I have a strong mind. Um, and uh, I'm, hard I'm hard to uh, control. And, um, you know, and they can, uh, you know, they can override you um, and make you do things. Um, they really can it's and that's real mind control um and stuff so anyway i just thought i'd share about talk about that a little bit um other than that uh there's not a whole lot going on uh i've been uh up since four o'clock in the morning tried to get back to sleep quite a few times can't get back to sleep um it's almost noon here uh central time 11 40 central time you know, and uh, they uh, they're wearing me out a little bit. They're uh, you know if I if I you know I've been up since four o'clock in the morning. By one or two, I'm gonna be super tired and ready for a nap. And they probably won't let me take a nap. You know, um, so I guess they do that so the, the weapons work better on you. You know, they wear you down. They make it so you can't think straight and you're a little out of it all day long and stuff like that and um it's uh part of being a ti i guess you know it's something we all go through is the uh sleepless nights you know so anyway i suppose i'm gonna cut this off i just wanted to share a little bit um about that and uh you know, because I, I know a lot of people disagree with what they can and can't do and uh, and stuff like that. Um, they, you know, they have more control than you think if they want to. If they want to. Um, they can do all kinds of things with these weapons. Um, and I'm speaking from experience. Um, and you kind of have to go through it. It's really hard to explain um, unless you're going through it and stuff. But uh, anyway... I'm going to cut this off, you guys, and uh, I will, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys have a good day, and I uh, will talk to you later.